ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again. Hope you're doing great. Today we're going to be diving into how to set up your replay camera with the native replay tool of MSFS. It is not perfect, so I'm going to give you a recommendation at the end of the video. If you enjoy this type of content, leave a like, subscribe. Let's get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Thank you very much, and let's dive right in. So in order to get this to work, you need to enable it first. So you go to general options, you go to experimental, and you turn on your replay too. Now, for some reason, every time that I restart MSFS, I need to re-enable this thing, and it is a pain in the buttocks. But it is the only way to get it to work. Then you'll open this, and this is where things get a bit confusing. This is not intuitive at all, so I understand that why most of us have difficulties using this. So that's why I'm going to recommend a different add-on at the end. Right, so in order to start recording, you just need to hit the record button, and that is pretty self-explanatory. So let's do that. We'll take off from, uh, from here, and... Uh, I'll see you on the ground as soon as we land. Okay, so we are more or less where we landed, and a lot of illegal things were, <laughs> were done during this recording, which we are about to see. So let's say you just landed like I did, and you want to stop the recording. Obviously, you hit the stop button. Now, if you replay it, it's going to replay the whole thing, but always in the perspective that you were. And this is not ideal if you want to do those cinematic shots, right? Because you're going to be, be stuck in the inside camera. So how do you how do you do it? Well, it's pretty simple. The only thing that you need to do to be in order to be able to manipulate the camera however you want is to start your camera jack recording as well. So what you do is that you replay the video, you hit camera track, and now you can go into drone camera. Alright, so you basically start recording the camera track now you can move with the drone camera around you might want to adjust these things stop the follow mode for example so it doesn't drag the camera as the aircraft approaches and i think i landed more or less over here in this area so i'll close this up and replay there you go you see the guy coming in Be an awful flare you can still move the camera about follow it. It's pretty cool because you can still manipulate the camera around with the default stuff. The only thing you can't really do is go back without stopping the actual camera track recording. In order to do that you need to do this. Start the camera track again and then you can manipulate the camera again. It gives you some cool angles for example if you want to look at oh, if you want to look at it like this an outside view or a wingtip view of the landing looks pretty okay but as you can see it's very finicky it's i know it's an experimental feature it shouldn't be because it's been out for ages but it still is an experimental feature things are missing it's not perfect and it's not intuitive at all so it's not the best tool for this but at least now you know how to use it but now let's get into what tool I think would be best for you if you want to actually record stuff and uh, have full control of your replays in MSFS. And that's actually what I use when I'm recording uh, any cinematic video, any type of intro, anything like that. So let's take a look at that. So this is the one that I recommend that you get. It is free. It is available on Flight CMTO. And I can leave a link in the description if you want to download it. The default one that comes with MSFS, as you can see, it's very messy. It doesn't really work. Um, it works, but not really in a very intuitive way. So I, I decided to look around for alternatives, and you have paid alternatives. This, but I think this freeware is actually better than the paid versions that are out there and that are embedded into MSFS 24, for example. So this one, on top of recording and being able to replay. Your, your flights you have a logbook feature that stores your flight data in a database and you can easily access all of your flights you can even give them titles and everything you can replay the whole thing uh, it's pretty cool pretty cool if you want to recycle content for example if you're a content creator 
stuff like that. Pretty actually should be a standard feature in MSFS, but it is what it is. And the whole interface is not the best, but it's pretty simple. So it doesn't waste a lot of resources in your computer, which is a very important thing to keep in mind when flying with simulator. So uh, this is pretty good, pretty good. On top of that, you can do formation flight. So basically you can add, uh, you replay your flight and you add aircraft that can be a different type of aircraft to your left, right wings. You can put their, uh, set their positions and everything. Like I've said, this one works a lot better it's a lot more intuitive than the default MSFS replay tool. So if you're trying to figure out how to work with the default one, forget about it and just get Sky Dolly. It's a lot easier. You can even see the replays like this. It gives me a, a, a tack view sort of vibe from, uh, from DCS times. So pretty cool stuff. I actually enjoy this one a lot more. And that's what I use for uh, for my recordings. Alrighty, so if you enjoy this type of content, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I want to count with you to help me on that. As always, safe flights to everyone. See?